So, on to Warrior. The first Warrior card here, one mana, 2-2, two, two, Demon, Dormant for two turns. When this awakens, equip a 3-2 Axe. Uh, this one, Crackwack and I each gave it a 2. Um, Itachi gave it a 3, but Baker gave it a 2. Again, Dormant. I don't like Dormant. This one's either going to be really good or really bad. <laughs> I can't tell. I have to try it. I gave it a three. I think I'd like the idea of having the weapon right away in turn three because you don't want to have a dormant card do anything when it wakes up. So that's pretty good. And didn't so Warrior know. lose his one drops? Yep. So oh, Armorsmith yeah. is gone, and then the Rush guy, is he gone? Yeah, Town Crier and the mm -hmm. Town Crier, yeah. yeah. Like, so all think, of the Rush stuff, basically. I think by default, this might end up being a three, just because Warrior's pretty strapped for ones. That's true, actually. Yeah. Yeah, otherwise your plan, what's the neutral 2-2 two, two for one? Um, oh, yeah. The Isabella Age. Yeah. 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 Or you're just not playing Warrior and you're going to play something else instead. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, or you just play uh, Galakrond Warrior and just stomp everybody anyways. Yeah. All right. Let's go to the next one here. Bladestorm, a three mana spell. Deal one damage to all minions. Repeat until one dies. Uh, this one, I rated as a four. Crackwack gave it a three. Uh, and Bitbeaker and Itachi both also gave it a three. Uh, I don't know. I, I can see a lot of uses for this. And I, I think you can use it to clear something of your opponents. You can, you know, especially like if you don't have anything on board, then it's definitely going to kill something of theirs. I think there's going to be some uses uh, to just damage your own stuff uh, to get some benefit. And, you know, three mana is not, not that bad for especially potentially a lot of damage. I think it's it's very flexible, but at the same time, it's not flexible because you're going to come into board states where it's because they're going to have like a one one and then like a bunch of like other minions. And if you can't kill the one with a different card, this is going to be a pretty sad one. But if they have one big thing, this is three mana killer. That's pretty good. If they have two things that are like pretty much the same size, that's good. I think it's just hard. To to use at the right time when you need a board clear. I feel like it's probably not always going to be what you're looking for. Mm, I'd probably give it a 3.5. I really like this card. I think it's like 200 IQ plays. I think you could do some real techie stuff with it and some fun stuff. It is so, cool. Yeah, 3.5. All right, next one here, Blood Boil Brute, a seven mana, six, eight rush. Costs one less for each damaged minion, which kind of works with what we just saw. Um, but uh, Crackwack and I each actually rated this a four, and Itachi and Bitbeaker both gave it a three. I mean... Rushing and costing less, like we've seen that before, and they're always pretty, pretty good. Mogu Flesh Shaper. Yeah, Mogu Flesh Shaper. I mean, honestly, uh, what? The, uh, shoot, what's the big tree guy? Mulch Muncher. Uh, that's oh, yeah. Saw Play, you know, that got discounted. Um, yeah, Mogu Flesh Shaper, that was the big one. Uh, Quarter Creeper, like, discounting stuff and playing out stats and especially giving it Rush, like, is pretty good. I might be underestimating this card because I underestimated Mogu. <laughs> yeah. But I think it's a lot harder to get damage minion than just regular minions. Even yeah. if this card is bigger bigger than Mogu Flesh Shaper. But Mogu Flesh Shaper was also in a world. And if there wasn't mutated, it would be very good. Yeah, that's fair. And, uh... Yeah, you know... This one might be another one that's kind of dependent on the meta. Like, if there's you know, decks that are really going wide, you know, you can play, uh, well, we were just talking about Bladestorm, you know, or something that deals damage to a wide board, and then all of a sudden this is 
you know, really cheap. But if there's not really board states like that, then this gets worse, I think. I'm super torn on this because when I think of when I play Warrior and I have the Blood Rage, the one where you draw cards based off damage, I think usually the most you can get from that is two. So I think on average, this will cost five. And I don't know if it's that good for how situational it is, even with Skipper and stuff like that. I'd say two. Yeah, that's why people talking about Skipper. And then I was like, wait, why wouldn't you just play like Calicron stuff? Yeah, because really if you be clearing the board, just play Scion. Even, yeah. even if you Skipper Scion, that's four mana. So this would cost what? Four less? Three mana. You had to do this on what, turn seven? Okay, that's okay. <laughs> if you skip or sign up, just play Battle Rage. Yeah. Card draw good. Yeah. yeah. All right. Let's go ahead and go to the next one here. Scrap Golem, a 5-mana 4-5 mech with Taunt and Death Rattle. Gain armor equal to this minion's attack. Uh, this one, Crackwack and I each rated it as a 3. Um, Bitbeaker also gave it a 3, and Itachi gave it a 1. Um it does feel worse now that all of the like uh, other mechs and the magnetize and all that is rotating out and also uh, Dr. Boom. Dr. Boom's rotating, so you can't play this after you drop no. Dr. Boom and trade. Um, but, you know, it, against aggro stuff, like this is a decent stat, it's a taunt, you're going to get some armor off of it. Like, it seems pretty, pretty decent. Kind of like the um, Rotten Apple guy. Oh, yeah, Rotten Apple Baum. And I don't know. Uh, I feel like with no magnetic cards, not too great. I feel like you could find better. There has to be play. better five drops, right? That's what I'm feeling like, too. There has to be a better five drop. And I don't think you're playing Control Warrior. There's, like, nothing now. You lost Boom. Sad. Sad times. <laughs> Yeah, this is insane. Dragon. If you control a dragon, gain five armor or whatever. I feel like even yeah, that's no, better. That's, that's rotating too. Oh, oh wait, is it? Yeah. Because you won't be able to find it from uh, Alex Strauss anymore. Yeah, that's rotating out. Oh gosh. If this isn't a world of boom and magnetic cards, then we could talk. But right now, yeah, I don't think it's played. I give it a one. Me too. All right. Next, we have Corsair Cash, a two mana spell. Draw a weapon. Give it plus one plus one. Uh, this one, so maybe overshooting this a little bit. We'll see. But uh, Crackwag and I actually both gave this one a four, and Itachi and Itachi and Bitbeaker each gave it a three. Um, again, you know, we've kind of talked about it, but the targeted draw is much better than just draw a card like this is specifically a weapon uh and maybe it's not super great this set but i think it's it's going to see play i think it's going to get used and i think it's going to be be great and you can put two in your deck yeah like you said i don't i i don't know if, i don't think there's anything i can't think of a single weapon you want to draw at this at this point so that's why i gave it a one Pirates? But, I don't know. Yeah, Ankar. you can... I think if you pull... It's good with Ankar in a vacuum, but, like, if you're playing a two-cost spell on turn two in, like, an all-face pirate minion deck with one weapon, I don't think you're right track there. Is Super Collider rotating? Yeah. It yeah. is? Yeah. No. Well, never mind my thought there. Okay, forget it. But yes, in the future, I'm sure they'll for your weapons and at home. Currently, I don't think you're going to see anything this set with it. Because even right now, what weapons are played? Ankar and then the um, Invoke weapon. Yeah, yeah, I don't think this is very good with Ritual Chop. And it's what, I love the weapon concept. I wish it was good. There's so many cards that make it interesting. Even the hero power for, I mean, the, the quest for Warrior, right, is attack with your hero like, X amount of times and you're going to make a golem. But it always falls flat. 